wanted to compare three different acoustic guitars today. Uh, we've got a Martin DCME, a Siegel S6, and a Blueberry Groove. We'll start by uh, doing sound clips of each of these. Um, I've played uh, pretty much uh, the same chord progressions with all of the, or each of the guitars, and blended them together so you can hear them back to back. Um, I've arbitrarily named one of them Guitar A, one of them Guitar B, one of them Guitar C, so you can listen to them blindly without uh, having a bias as to which one you like better, and then you can figure out uh, which one uh, you like. Alright, here we go. Uh, guitar A was the Siegel S6, Guitar B was the Martin DCME, and Guitar C was the Blueberry Groove. Alright, now just a little bit about these guitars. We'll go ahead and start with Guitar A, the Siegel. The Siegel, uh, this particular one is the Siegel S6. Uh, it's a solid spruce top with mahogany back and sides. Now those of you familiar with uh, Seagull guitars might be saying, wait, most Seagulls are, or most X S6s are uh, cedar with cherry wood back and sides. 
This one's a little bit different. Um, not quite sure if they still make this model or what it, the story is behind it, but uh, I know that it's a spruce top with a laminate mahogany back and sides. Um, uh, price point for uh, the Seagull S6 is usually between $450 to $500. Uh, they're great, inst great instruments made in uh, Canada. Um, the second guitar, uh, Guitar B, is the Martin DCME. I, do, I believe that this model has been discontinued in its place, uh, uh, one similar to it that uh, they make in Mexico. Um, this one has a solid spruce top and uh, like the Seagull, uh, laminate mahogany back and sides. It does have a cutaway. Uh, the price point on this one, brand new, uh, uh, with a case, I think these retailed at Guitar Center uh, for about $1,200. Uh, and the Blueberry, um, the price point on these is uh, brand new. I've seen them kind of range um, from uh, when they used to do the biddings on eBay. Uh, they would go anywhere from $1,000 and I think they're asking price now for them is uh, like $2,400, something like that. So uh, there's a range. Uh, but this guitar is uh, pretty unique in that, uh, first of all, you can see it's got a split top. So uh, right here on the left side, you have a spruce, and then on the right side, uh, you've got uh, cedar. So that's uh, pretty interesting. And then the other thing that sets this guitar apart as being different is it has these uh, grooves that have been hand-carved in the top. Um, also in the back, and then the other thing that's different about this guitar uh, as opposed to the other two is that it's a solid wood construction, so uh, the sides and back are also solid. Um, looks like it's a little bit of a different body style too. Looks like these are more uh, dreadnought style, and this is more, I believe it's a grand concert size. Um, so different body style. Uh, one thing that I did do to make all of them the same was I put brand new strings on each of them before I recorded. Uh, I went ahead and put on uh, these, the, the Martins uh, 8020 Bronze light strings. So they all had the exact same strings. And what I used uh, to record it with, um, I used uh, some Octavas, uh, the MK01201s, and uh, these have been modded by uh, Michael Jolly of Octava Mod, uh, and then I have those going into the Steinberg um, MR816 CSX, and then I'm using an external word clock, uh, a Black Lion uh, micro clock too. So that's the setup.